Hello everyone, this is Grade 3, Module 6, Lesson 9, Homework. For number 1, it says the table below shows the amount of money Danielle saves for 4 months. We have January, February, March, April, and then we have our values over here. Create a picture graph below using the data in the table. And I see that there's a key um, that I'm going to need off to the side. So I'm using a picture graph. I'm just going to use boxes for this. And I see that I have 9, 18, 36, and 27. That's an awful lot of boxes to do if I'm going to do it uh, one box equals one dollar because I'll have to draw 36 or 27. Could do that. Um, if I did two boxes, I see that 27 I'm going to have to draw a half box. Uh, so that's still not bad. But if I do it, uh, one box equals two, then for this one, I'll still have to draw 18, which again, isn't too bad. But then I want to see what about three. And I know three can go into 27, nine times. Three can go into 36, 12. Three goes into 18, six, and three goes into nine, three. So that's a little more manageable. So I'm going to make each box worth $3. And now... This isn't the dollar amount that I drew in. That's the number of boxes that I'm going to draw. Because if I draw nine boxes and they're each worth three, that's nine times three, that gets me the $27. So I'll write in first uh, my months. So January, February, March, and April. So now I'm going to start drawing my boxes. For January, I need $9 worth, and if they're each worth 3, so it's going to be 3 boxes. And uh, my next one is February, and it's $18, so I'll be drawing 6 of those. Now, if it was asking me to draw a bar graph, I would have pushed this all together and done bars and done a, a scale going up the side with numbers. But since it's a pictograph or a picture graph, I can use um, these symbols, these box symbols, to show how much they actually are. So uh, I'm going to shade these ones in just so they're open, or so they're not open. And now I'm going to take a look at March, and i got to do 12 boxes because 12 times 3 is 36. Uh, and this is going to get pretty big. So there's my 12 boxes there, and i got to get them all shaded in. So, And there we go. And then for April, i got to do 9 boxes because i got to get to 27. And 9 times 3 is 27. So there's my... Uh, picture graph and it'd be nice if all my boxes lined up um, they don't necessarily do that so like my nine box here didn't really line up with my nine box for March but because I can count the boxes and do uh, by three that's good but I, I probably should go back through and fix it to make sure that they do line up so now that I got my graph I'm going to go to the uh, next page where we're going to answer a few questions on it so here we are on page two, and we'll take a look at A and C for this. A says, how much money does Danielle save in four months? And I could just use the uh, chart that I started with that I took up from my data, and I know January had nine, February had 18, March had 36, and April had 27. So I can add all three of those because that's the four months that I had. Um, so I can go ahead and add those up to get my total value. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do 9 and 18 here first to get my 27, and then I'm going to do 36 and 27 over here. So I did um, my January and February right here, and then I'm going to do my March and April right here. Um, just so I can get these two and then add those up. 
if I could, which I, I could have, I could have done all four at one time, but it just helps me organize to do two at a time for it. So 90. Um, and then I'll put my answer statement down below. So there it is. Danielle saved $90 in four months. And let's take a look at C. <clears throat> C says, uh, Danielle combines her savings from March and April to buy books for her friends. Each book costs $9. How many books can she buy? <clears throat> well, the good part is I already did March and April together, and it's right there. So I know that she had 63. Now I need to um, figure out how many $9 books I can take away from the 63. So it's really 9 times something if I were going to do this in multiplication. Or it could be blank times 9 equals 63. Uh, and I'm really just saying how many 9's can I pull out of that? How many groups of 9's? Because they're books, so books of 9's um, costing $9. So, uh, I could do that, and I know that I could do my 63 divided by 9 to see how many. I'm going to show this a little differently. I'm going to subtract out, uh, showing almost a number bond approach here. And as I'm doing this, uh, I'm kind of counting. I'm skip counting by 9. So, 9, 18, 27, 36... 45, 54, and 63. So now I can count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So she can buy, and I would say Danielle can buy, 7 books. And there's my answer statement down below. Uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your homework.